Okay, greetings from the Handy Sides and the Billingses. This is Wednesday evening, April the 8th, and um, our producer is taking his spot now and fixing all of this so that it comes off right. I'd like to share with you Proverbs 3, verses 5 to 8. Hello, producer Ethan. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he will make straight your paths. Be not wise in your own eyes, but fear the Lord. Turn away from evil. It will be healing to your flesh and refreshment to your bones. Healing to your flesh and refreshment to your bones. That's a good thing, isn't it? I'd like to encourage you to be praying for our our government leaders, our, our leaders in government at all levels, uh, as they try to decipher exactly where we are at this point, how all, how all the stats are coming up, and to be able to interpret them properly. And, and then as they plan for the stage of moving eventually into opening things up and hopefully businesses getting back on track again, and it may be earlier than what they had anticipated, certainly be praying for that because we need our people back to work. You need to be back to work. I know many of you are craving mm -hmm. to get back to work. And then to continue to pray for those, our medical people, personnel, who are taking care of, uh, of all the people that are sick and need help. And that's a very difficult thing. And pray for each other and keep on looking out for each other. You're doing a great job. And then pray for Dan and Daphne Foote. I talked with Dan yesterday morning. And, um, and just pray that uh, they will be able to make a, a, um, a move up here when the time is right right now. You know, of course, the situation is quite right for it. They're eager to do so. They're getting prepared to do so and trying to get things lined up here as a, for a place to stay where they can either rent or buy. So be praying for them in this. And, and if they need to make a trip up here, which they probably will at some point to check things out and then go back down. But, uh, you know, the... Mm -hmm coronavirus uh, situation is putting that a little bit on hold in some ways, but they're, they're doing as much as they can, so be praying for them. We look forward to them coming. And then I want to mention to you the Good Friday service coming up at 7 o'clock on Friday and uh, at, our, at our YouTube channel and, and with the uh, email that's accompanying this. I'll have that link on there. It's the same one you used last Sunday, but uh, it's going to be a great time. There will be some special music, Lord willing. And uh, Pastor Johnny will be giving the message from Isaiah 53, verses 1 to 8. Very appropriate for Good Friday. And then the, the, he and Ruth will have a special surprise for us at the end. And then for our Easter service on Sunday morning, 1015 is the, um, is the countdown time and our greeting, meet and greet time as usual. And then 1030 begins the service. And all of it will be pre-recorded because of issues we've had with the, um, with the live stream and uh, the internet. Um, and so we hope to have those cleared up by, by way of we'll pre-record it and we should eliminate some of those issues. At any rate, uh, 10.30 service time and uh, we'll have members of the praise band there, hopefully some additional members that we haven't had before. And then a special scripture reading. Uh, by Amy Billings, and so you won't want to miss that. It'll be covering uh, one of the resurrection appearances, actually a few appearances in uh, John chapter 20, so I'll be reading ahead on that, and Amy will do a fantastic job, I know, in reading it. And then um, also um, I'll be giving the message and um, uh, from 1 Corinthians chapter 15, 1 through 11, so I'll be reading ahead on that as well, and then we'll have a, a special treat at the end of it as well that will I think wrap up the, the service very, very well. But uh, we want for you all to be there and to join us and uh, invite your relatives, your friends, your neighbors, co-workers, send them an email invite to them with the link that we send to you. And then um, uh, we'll just uh, praise the Lord together. And Becky, you have a special update with regard to Ethan, who's our producer tonight. Last week he progressed from being able to turn off and closed things down at the end, and now he's producing this. There he is, mm -hmm. and uh, and uh, he's responsible for this coming to you now. He's our our Michael Carroll in miniature, our version of Michael Carroll, the technology and all that stuff behind the scenes. So how else has he been progressing this week during this? It's amazing the things he's learning to do now. Well, he has us all on our toes because he's crawling and 
basically he's crawling from one place that he can stand up to another place that he can stand up and walk around and fall down and walk around and fall down again. And so next time you see him, he may have some bruises on his head and his face. Um, and I want to wish you all April showers of blessings. And, and the April showers of May flowers. And fall. offer you some virtual cookies. We make cookies just They're fantastic. Tonight. She and Amy have been busy at work cooking cookies. Um, mm, all right. Okay. <laughs> Okay, Ethan, uh, Ethan is signaling that we need to shut down. We're running time here. So uh, a closing blessing for you from Romans chapter 15, verse 13. Ethan, you ready? Here we go. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing, so that by the power of the Holy Spirit, you may abound, really abound, in hope. May the Lord bless you all until we see you Friday evening at our uh, Good Friday service and then Saturday morning at our Easter service Sunday morning. Lord bless you. We'll see you then. Okay, Ethan, you can uh, terminate this now. Actually, the producer, you determine these things.